and he was tied up with Hyder Ali or Tipu Sultan, one of the two. So Joseph, start at the beginning. You were telling us the story of Oyster Rock next to your house in Kolaba. Yeah, there's a, a rock there which is fortification. Yeah. And you might wonder why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell. You might wonder why there was fortification. Now the fortification at Oyster Rock was built by the British. Yeah. 1799. They heard that Napoleon was on his way to India. Mm. And he was, in fact, he was in Egypt at that time. And so they were getting ready because his plan was to take Bombay with the help of either Hyder Ali or Tipu Sultan. And the French were in contact with them here. So there was already something in place. I think maybe it was the dancing girls of Egypt, the belly dancers or something. That yeah, no, that's your masala. That's <laughs> your masala. <laughs> okay, okay. Napoleon, okay. but he didn't come. But in Bombay, there already was a plan in place yeah. that as soon as the ships were sighted, Oyster Rock would fire. On hearing the firing from Oyster Rock, the cannon, the fort would mobilize. Women and children would be given safe conduct to the mainland by a Maratha chief, and then they would move to Surat. Because even at that time, Surat was a big port town. Yeah. So, that was already in place, and all this information you can get at the archives, uh, the the Which underground archives, archives Bombay. Yeah, uh, it's just behind the G, uh, GT Hospital, the George Hospital, Saint George Hospital. There's one bit of the fort, and under that there's a room with all these. This is in which part of Bombay? Uh, GPO. Yeah, Fort Bori Bandar. Bori Bandar. Yes, that's where. VT. VT. And how close is this to your house? It's fairly close. Oyster Rock is about 500 meters away. And in what the state? Seat. What state is it in today? Maharashtra. No, I mean, in what condition is it in? Now it's in good because the navy is taking it over. Okay. They've redone it, etc. I'm not sure what what use they put on put into it, but I've been to the rock with the navy because I did work for the navy every now and then. Uh, they, we've got two islands uh, which the navy controls. This was one, and middle ground was the other. Middle ground is somewhere in front of the Gateway of India. And the Navy had an idea to have a maritime museum there. The, the people involved would, would, at that time was Charles Correa, Alec Padamse and me. Oh. And uh, the naval guy was Admiral Avari. So we, we did put a whole thing together. Then for some reason they decided to get INS Delhi to become the museum. You know, it, okay. the, the, this is the politics of everything yeah. in it. So the museum didn't happen, but while we were working on it, we did, in fact, get a lot of content for the museum as well. Wow. All the the nautical books and nautical charts and all from Gujarat, because that's when we realized that this was a very, very active area of commerce. You had the Moors, you had the Arabs, you had the Gujaratis, and the Gujaratis were great seafarers all the way down on the west coast uh, to Kerala where you had the Cochin, Travancore people. And then, of course, when you go around, you've got the Coromandel Coast also coming in. You are a walking, talking encyclopedia. You need to have your book coming out, your memoirs. Ah. So, so the fort of 10, what's that, 10, 10 feet? Uh, yeah, the Bombay, uh, Bombay Fort, Saint jo Fort St. George. Where? See, we call a place the fort, correct? Yeah, fort. You talk about the fort. Have you ever yeah. seen the fort? No. No. Because that, there was a fort. The fort was Bombay Island, which was really the area behind the museum. Rampart Row. Yeah. So you got St. Andrew's Church, a Scots Kirk, that was in the fort at one end. You had Rampart Row. So Flora Fountain was within the fort. Yeah. Uh, church Gate, which we talk about, was round the corner where the Central Telegraph Office is. Not where Church Gate Station is. Yeah. So that was called Church Gate because that was the gate of the fort. This is 1800s or, or what this earlier? Was this was 1799. 1799. So early 1800s. Then I think Frere, I'm not sure which governor, much yeah. later, Napoleon's threat had moved yeah. and, they, and Bombay was expanding. So he decided to pull down the fort. So the, the fort walls came down. Okay. We can get the date on, uh, on the internet, you can yeah. pick it up. And uh, the stones of the fort went into the building of St. George Hospital. Wow. But this was Fort St. George. So yeah. uh, lots of people don't even know that the fort in Bombay was Fort St. George. Goans have been caught up quite a bit in this history and writing it also. Teresa Albuquerque was there. She was there, yeah. Of course, the East Indian lady, Dr. Fleur, yeah. Fleur, Fleur. Fleur, Fleur was her 
teacher. Fleur is down in Goa at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah, in Purvari. Does she live here? Yeah, uh, you know, I think they are uh, re redeveloping her place. Oh, 